So a question that goes around a lot is obviously, is GPU mining dead? In today's video, we're going to be exploring if it is dead and if it will ever come back in the future. So firstly, I want to start by saying that GPU mining isn't dead necessarily. You can still make profits, but obviously only on the 4090. So if you have one of these cards, then, you know, you're obviously going to be making profits. But for the rest of the cards, we're not really going to. Here on what to mine, if we have 14090 put in with a cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, we can see that we are still profitable on Casp, which has obviously been one of those top coins to mine right now. We're at a revenue of 93 cents and a profit of 36 cents. That's for Casper. And then these two coins, Ryo and Conceal, have been profitable on the 4090 for a while now. Casper does tend to go unprofitable, but I think that's just because the profit switching algorithms is putting that and a different coin at the most profitable. Obviously, you can mine Ryo or Conceal if you really want, but the probability and percentage of blocks is really high on both of these coins, as we can see on the side here. So GPU mining isn't really dead, but you have to have the top gear to obviously be profitable. When we input the figures for a 3090 Ti, we can see that Casper is very unprofitable, and then Nexa, you have Castillo, and then a bunch of nice hash profit switching coins on there. So obviously right now it's not going to be profitable, but we could see profitability in the future, and we're going to go over this a little bit more. But firstly, I want to talk about FPGAs. So as you can see here, we have an FPGA for cryptocurrency mining board. So an FPGA is basically like a mix between a GPU and an ASIC miner. It's a specific card that you can basically plug into your PC on a PCIe slot. And it does the same kind of thing as GPU mining, but it's directed towards a certain algorithm. As you can see here, this is a CVP13 FPGA. And there's a bunch of algorithms that you can actually mine on with. Obviously, a lot of them are ASIC mineable algorithms like SHA-256 and Tribus and VBlake and stuff like that. So you can actually put FPGAs onto ASIC algorithms, but you can't put FPGAs onto GPU mineable algorithms. Obviously, we can see here at the bottom, we have Cadena, which is obviously a popular mining coin, uh, which can be mined on ASIC miners. And then we have X16RV2, which is the algorithm, which is actually one of the ones for Ravencoin. Now, Ravencoin is obviously trying to stay GPU mineable. The way that it works is that FPGAs try to get onto the system. Basically, you have to like, basically you have to override it over a certain amount of time and then FPGAs get onto the system. And this is how ASIC started to get into the system. With a lot of coins, we've seen this, you know, coins will stick to a certain either CPU, GPU or ASIC mineable basically just because they want to be in touch with that CPU mining community or the GPU mining community. The main one being Flux, they obviously don't want ASIC miners on their network, so they've decided to make it only GPU mineable. So FPGA cards are obviously an option if you really want to look into it. There's not really much out there on it because you have to find a certain FPGA card to actually mine on a certain algorithm, and a lot of them don't allow for FPGAs to go onto the algorithm. Obviously, we can see on this website here, they have a load of FPGAs, and as you can see, there's a PCIe slot. So you basically just put it onto your motherboard or you put it onto a riser, just like a normal card that you would in GPU mining. Generally, what you start off with is a blank board and then you program it to a certain mining algorithm. It does a little bit better than GPU mining, but does a little bit worse than ASIC mining. It's very efficient compared to GPU mining, but not as efficient as ASIC. So it's just an in-between. However, when we look at the actual GPU prices, which I think is a good indicator of like where the GPU mining is heading in the next, you know, couple of years, maybe three years. We can see that the GPU prices are actually lowering. Obviously at the top here, we can see the 3050, which is obviously a card that none of us really wanted to mine on because it's not that good. But we have the 3060 here, the 3060 Ti. Prices have been slightly dropping over the average. So the black line is the main actual profit line. And then the purple lines are just different prices that it sold at. And when we look down here at the 3090 Ti, we can obviously see that it's had a massive price drop from around $2,200 all the way down to around $1,400 per card. And this is obviously because of the Ethereum merge. You know, these prices of these cards have gone down, but the ones that have been the most affected are obviously the newest ones, which is the 3090 Ti and the 3090. They're obviously hard to get hold of in the height. Obviously, you didn't want to pay like double MSRP. But they have now returned to MSR. But I still think they're pretty expensive, seeming that the 4090 has just come out as well. So in theory, this could be the actual time to start buying GPUs to get ready for GPU mining in the future. But that only depends on if the price of coins actually go up in the future or the price of electricity goes down. 
Now, when we look at the global market cap cryptocurrency chart, we can see that the market cap has gone from 3 trillion into the whole cryptocurrency market down to 1 trillion. So this whole crypto winter has actually wiped out two thirds of the whole cryptocurrency market cap, which is obviously not good for us miners because that means we, in theory, if we just averaged it out, we are making two thirds less profit. Obviously, we want this to go up. So in the future, if we do have a next bull run, GPU mining, I think, will still be profitable. Obviously, because coins like Flux, Ravencoin, Ergo, they're trying to keep ASICs and FPGAs off the network, I believe. But this means in the future, if the price does go up, we'll see more people start to GPU mine on there. Obviously, because of the graphics card prices right now, it would be a perfect time to start setting up for that. But obviously, none of us have the foresight of how long it's going to take to actually become profitable again. Then if we look at the major crypto assets by percentage of total market cap here, it displays the top five here. It says Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, BNB, USD coin, Binance USD, XPR, Cardano, Dogecoin, and Polygon. So as we can see here, Bitcoin and Dogecoin are the only two mineable coins in the top 10 list. The problem with both of these coins is they're only profitable to mine with ASIC miners. And ASIC miners cost, you know, upwards of $5,000, $7,000, something like that. It can range between the two. So the coin with the highest market cap in GPU mining is actually Ravencoin and that has the most issuance per day. I think of around $100,000 per day of issuance. The rest of them are sitting at around $80,000 and then it just drops from there depending on which one you're mining. So in my opinion, Ravencoin will probably be the first one to become actually profitable out of all of them and stay profitable for a while before the other ones start joining in unless some of them have a massive price spike in the next you know, two years. Obviously, Ravencoin might have one as well, but if we have a new crypto bull run, obviously these coins are going to go up as well in price and people will start joining the network and might start mining them. As you can see here, Ravencoin has followed the same kind of cryptocurrency market cap trend that we just saw in the previous side, and it's only at rank 104 on the coin market cap rankings. So basically, any other coin above that is not GPU mineable. And the biggest GPU mineable coin right now is only at rank 104. So we have a lot of work to do in GPU mining. Obviously, electricity costs are high right now. But that's not really good for GPU mining. If they're a bit lower, maybe a lot of these coins would be slightly profitable. Also, the price of these coins need to go up to become profitable as well. So overall, I think we're going to have around two, three years of non-profitability. And then after that, we're going to start seeing either GPUs phased out to FPGAs or we're just going to go strictly ASIC mining. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out the video recommended at the end of this video.